In this video, we provide a brief overview of the different standard algorithms you're required to know about for the AS and full A-level course. An algorithm is nothing more than a sequence of steps followed in order to solve a problem. The algorithms most commonly used in computer science have their own names. It's essential you get to grips with these standard algorithms, how they work, their limitations, and the situations where their use is preferred over other approaches. For many of these algorithms, you will need to know how to use them, trace them, read them, and also write them. The number of algorithms you're required to learn about will depend on whether you're taking the AS level course or the full A level. Sorting algorithms arrange data in order with fundamental data structures. There are two you need to be aware of at the AS level. That's the bubble sort and the insertion sort. If you're studying the full A level, you also need to learn about two additional sorting algorithms, the merge sort and the quick sort. Searching algorithms find data within a data structure. There are two you need to learn at AS level. There's the linear and the binary search. There are no additional searching algorithms you need to know about for the full A level. Pathfinding algorithms find satisfactory or optimal paths between vertices or nodes on a graph. Now, you're not required to learn about pathfinding algorithms if you're only studying the AS level. If you're studying the full A level, you need to learn about Dijkstra's shortest path and the A star algorithm. Now, pathfinding algorithms could be classified as a type of searching algorithm. However, it will help you to think of them separately from the linear and binary search, at least while you're learning. So here's a handy summary table for you. You can see the two sorting and searching algorithms you're required to know at AS and the two additional sorting and also pathfinding algorithm for A-level. Notice here the columns read, trace and write. For the vast majority of algorithms, the exam board expect you to be able to read them, trace them and write them in a high level programming language or pseudocode in the exam. The exception of the pathfinding algorithms, you're never going to have exam questions that ask you to write them, but you will be expected to read and trace them if presented with code. Now, each of these algorithms have their own dedicated videos in this series that go into them in more detail. So a quick note straight from the OCR exam board specification. Candidates need to have an understanding of the need for searching and sorting algorithms. Candidates need to have an understanding of preconditions required to perform a specific algorithm. And candidates need to be able to use the algorithms to search data sets for specific values that may or may not exist in the data set. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What are the two standard sorting algorithms you need to know for AS level? What are the two standard searching algorithms you need to know for AS level? And what are the additional algorithms you need to know if you're studying the full A level? We know that getting to grips with data structures and all the algorithms associated with them is a very tricky area of the course. And so we've produced a book called Essential Algorithms for A Level Computer Science that's available on Amazon. It covers all the data structures you need to know about, along with the algorithms you need to perform on them, and it covers all the exam boards. We overview each data structure, discussing its typical applications and the operations you can perform on it. We provide a QR code that jumps off to a useful page of additional resources. We then take each data structure and the algorithms you need to perform and present them first in simple structured English, then in a diagrammatic format, then in pseudocode. And finally, we present you with fully coded algorithms which you need to cover on the data structures in both Python and VB, so you can actually code them up and practice them yourselves. 